Now we're gonna do the reproductive system and the squalus. So underneath the ovaries, if you could lift up the ovary a little, lift it up like this way. We have the mesoovarium, which is right here. And then the ostium tube is a tube A is a little too small to see, so we should just know the function of that. Here, um, if you could just lift the flap a little. Um, just this one. Can you move your finger? Here we have the falciforum ligament. And then uh, surrounding it, we have the um, anterior epigastric artery, which was right here. And then we have the nidamental gland, which is like on the ovary, which would be right here. This little deflated gland on the ovary. Hold, push that back. Hold the ovary and then I'll pull it up. Right here. You can see it really good here. And then the uterus is going to be down here. If you follow um, the oviduct, down, 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 right here is the uterus. And it's very small because the shark is not pregnant. If the shark was pregnant, it would be very enlarged. And that's it.